What is going on, everyone? How you doing? It is Coach MT, and um, I want to welcome you back to some more financial champion value or financial champion coaching. So first, I want to say what's up to all my financial champions out there that is that are subscribed to this channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you do subscribe. Um, we talk about everything credit um, and financial empowerment really helping you get to that financial level um, we're getting ready to put together a video um, that's going to be showing you how to become your very own bank it's called banking on yourself it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal uh, I just got my insurance license so I, it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be phenomenal so if, if you are really looking to take your finances to the next level become a, a financial champion then you want to stay tuned okay but today we're going to talk about EWS and check systems, and I'm going to kind of give you some some champion game here um, on on these two reports. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to set these two reports aside, and we're going to we're going to we're going to focus on the most important part of this process, and that's you. Okay, how did you get here? How did you get on EWS and check systems? Okay, and regardless of whether it was your fault or not, because I know for some individuals you may have had identity theft or what have you, or you know you might. I've, I've had clients where they've given access to their account to their their significant other, um, you know, their, their personal accounts without having a joint account, especially married couples. All right, but but we're going to focus on you, okay? So just to let you know, this is not EWS and Check Systems' fault. They're just doing their job. Something happened at at a previous bank and they were created to post information. That's all they're doing. It's called a consumer reporting agency. All they're doing is reporting information of a consumer. Who's a consumer? You. So let's start where, let's, let's get to the root of the challenge. So the reason you're on EWS and Check Systems is because you were not prepared financially. And I'm not talking about not having enough money. I'm talking about not having enough financial literacy okay people who are financial literate are very careful what they do with their money and uh and the things they purchase with their money and where they put their money okay so and so when you're financial literate you will pay attention to every you pay attention to everything finance financial in, in your finances where money's coming in where money's going out you have everything recorded it's not just on a whim okay and then when individuals ask you to either use your information or use your, you know, your credit card or use your banking card, you, you, you are like, wait a minute. OK, you, you said, let, 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 let me let's talk about this for a moment. And then you have to look at that person and say, OK, what is their financial literacy? And because I'm giving up my personal financial information to somebody that is not financial literate, because somebody who is not financial literate would do anything with your information because they're not understanding the ramifications of not being of, of not being financial literate. Okay, so this this has nothing to do with EWS. Has nothing to do with the bank. It has everything to, to, to do with you not being financially prepared and not being financial literate. So what does literate mean? Okay, the word literate means to be able to read. Okay, or or and so that's what it means you know to be literate, like understanding what you're looking at. So, um, so a lot of individuals, including yourself, right? This, this is be real. Um, do not know how to read money, right? You know, and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this from personal experience for a long time. I didn't know how to read money. Okay. I did not know how to read money and I just got tired of losing. I just got tired of losing. Okay. How does this damn thing work? I was on check systems. Yes. Coach MT was on check systems and I was like, and then a credit was bad and, and I, you know, I didn't have. I just like I was just money wasn't right and I was always scrambling and scraping. I'm like, okay, enough of the BS. All right, enough of the bullshit. Let's get this together. So I'm what I'm what I'm what I want to get across to you is that if if you want your life to be better, because you know, money's not everything, but but it's ranked right up there with oxygen. We I got that from Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar has some great stuff. Um, he said, you know, money's not everything, but it's ranked right up there with oxygen. So in order for you to have a better financial life, you have to become more, you have to become 
um, more financially literate. You have to understand how money works. Now, I, I know money is a taboo thing for a lot of people because we just a lot of us didn't grow up understanding money. I, I know in my household, you know, uh, my, my parents, we, we never talked about money. Never, never. I think I heard my dad say the word credit one time. And the reason that most people are not financially literate because your parents are not financially literate and they don't know what to, what to tell you. Okay, I, I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s and my parents just didn't know what to tell us. The only thing they knew how to, the only thing they were looking to do is get us out of high school and on to college. Because for me, there was just a lot of people in my family that just didn't go to college. And I was one of those first individuals, I want to say maybe first five people on my dad's side of the family to just, just, to just make it out of high school and go to college. So to talk about money wasn't a big deal. Let's, let's just keep these kids alive. So we can get them on to college, right? So, but I'm, what I'm telling you is that if you don't want to be in this situation, then you have to become more financial literate. Financial literacy has to become part of your lifestyle. And I did a video on called the Lifestyle Success Ladder. You could you could do a search in my in, on this channel to find it. Uh, I, I, I'll probably put a link to it in, in the description there, so you can, you can go watch that that information. But you're going to get some books. You're going to get a coach and spend the money on your financial education right we spend money on all kind of shit we spend money on college right to get out that piece of paper we spend money on the concert we spend money on shoes and bags and clothes and, and video games and 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 in and, and sports events but when it comes to that financial education i ain't spending money on that no i'm not doing that you, you, you don't know how many people come through my site and don't sign up for the service, whether it's credit, whether it's financial champion coaching, whether it's EWS and check system. They, they have it right here. Right. But won't spend money on it. Right. And then let it, another month go by too. I have, I have a lot of clients that call me. I talked to a year ago. They said, yeah, I talked to you a year ago. And, you know, I just I just thought it was just going to you. You thought, you know, where has your thinking gotten you thus far? When you start using your thinking and your thinking got you where you are right now on EWS, on check systems, bad credit, no money, negative bank accounts, right? That's where your thinking has got you. How about adopting the thinking of someone else? And you know what? That's going to cost money. You're going to have to buy the book. Yes, you are. Uh, rich dad, poor dad. Think and grow rich. OK, you're good. The four hour work week. You're going to have to buy these books. The 10x rule. OK, um, I, I have a my bookshelf is stacked with books. Anytime I want to learn, I go buy the book. OK, you're going to have to invest in your financial education. Yes, you're going to have to you 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 going to invest in that coach. I, I just recently invested in a coach. Yes, I did. And, and, and the investment had a comma in it. It had a comma in it. It was not cheap, but I know what I'm going to, but this individual is doing better than me financially. And I've been watching, I've been watching, I've been watching, I've been watching. I said, okay, let's go. And I finally got the coaching. And I said, and, and then when I have a chance to speak to this individual, I was like, wow, I never thought about that. Wow. I never thought about that. So I know that investment in my financial education in, in, in an over a period of time, whatever I spent on that, I'll be making that monthly. I'll be out at that amount monthly to my income because I invested in myself. And then what I invested in, I'm able to use to benefit me financially. You're going to have to invest in your financial education and you're going to, have to give some things up. Some things are going to, you're not going to, you're going to be some things you're just, just not going to have to do for a while. I can remember, I can tell you right now when I was fixing my credit, um, you know, every, I, I went to, a. a I went to the Ohio State University, big sports school, right? Big college town. A lot of my friends and fraternity brothers are still in Columbus. I would go to Columbus like four times a year. You know, I would go watch a couple of games. There was a, like a fraternity event that we would do in the, in the, in the spring. And it would be a fraternity event we would do in the fall. And then I would go for a couple of games, all right? And maybe that, that all those four events between plane tickets and hotel rooms and having fun, it might have been two or $3,000 I spent throughout the year OK, to 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 for, for those four times, I will go back to to Columbus, Ohio. All right. Because I, I live in Atlanta now. You know what? I didn't do that that year for for 11 months. 
I focused on my credit. I, and that money I would have spent on going to Columbus, I used to fix my credit. And I went from a 505 to a 707, and I haven't looked back since. But you know what? I had to invest. I had to invest in myself, and I had to give some things up. All right? That was in 2015. I haven't missed the, the, any other, I haven't missed any fraternity events in and, and, and whatever time you hear this, 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 or watch this video, I would have either about to go to, or have gone to two games in a row: Ohio State, Minnesota, and then Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Penn State. And 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 it, it, it we're going. I'm going from Atlanta to Columbus to Minnesota to Madison back to. But you know what? Because and, and the reason I'm able to do this is because I got a financial coach. I got my finances together. All right. So look at you. You are the culprit. It's you. It ain't the banks. It ain't EWS. It's not check systems. It's not TransUnion. It's not Equifax. It's not Experian. It's not LexisNexis. It's not the bankruptcy courts. Okay? It is, it's not your mama. It's not your daddy. It's not your spouse. It ain't your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance, your brother, your sister, your cousin, the dog. All right? The hamster running around on the wheel. Your kids. It's you. You're going to have to change what you do because if you don't change what you do, you'll be back in some type of financial trouble later on. It may not be either it's a check system. It may be credit or it may be you run into a financial emergency and you're not financially prepared. It may be another pandemic. Anything can happen. But if you are prepared, if you are financially literate, all right, you will not have any financial challenges. So I'm telling you this. So you can do something about it. If you don't do anything about it, you can't say that at least Coach MT didn't tell you. All right. Co Coach MT is here to tell you these things because since 2002, Coach MT has been in financial and business building training. And you do the years based on whatever time you watch this video. All right. So if you're in EWS or check systems trouble, if you're in credit trouble, if you're in financial trouble, Check out the links in the description area. It's going to take you right to our site, take you to our programs, our coaching, our consultate, whatever you need to do, click, check out the links, okay? And also check out the links pinned to the top in the, in the comment section. Listen, we're here to help you, but now it's on you. The ball is in your court, all right? So, Coach MT, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, thank you for watching. If you really enjoyed that value, make sure you click on this button right here to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure you click on the button right next to it to go schedule your free consultation. We have some other great value that you can watch over here for free. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll be connected with you soon.